A woman kicked the dog as hard as she could right in the chest. Like, it was so sad. Constance Milano was with her friend Morgan Ferber, driving past this home on Magnolia Avenue Wednesday night when they saw a dog in the street and stopped to try and find the owner. They say a man and woman came out and that the woman, later identified as Maria Ebanks, kicked the dog. And the man, identified as Timothy Wilson, chased the dog into the yard, armed with a small bat. He took the dog out back and it sounded like he was like hitting the dog or something and it was really awful. Police say the dog allegedly abused, a chow mix named Bruno, was one of six dogs found at the home. All were malnourished with ribs showing through mangy coats. Some of the dogs were covered in fleas and several had untreated eye ailments. Police say there was no dog food or water bowl seen on the property. The home had no electricity and blood spatters covered the floor in the main living area. I was sh shaking and crying the whole time and yeah, it was not a fun time. I was just freaking out. I didn't want to see a dog hurt at all. Investigators charged Ebanks and Williamson, who both live in the home, with one count each of felony animal cruelty and four counts of misdemeanor animal cruelty. Ebanks' daughter, Gardena Bermudez, who police say owns the dog named Bruno and knowingly left him in bad circumstances when she moved out, is facing one misdemeanor cruelty count. Can I say something? Bond for suspect Williamson and Ebanks is $9,000, $1,000 for suspect Bermudez. And if the suspects make that bond, the judge has ordered they not be around animals, they can't have pets. According to the police report, Animal Control went to that same house about a year ago and put the a ASPCA in connection to those residents, but that the residents never followed up with the agency for help in managing the animals. We're live in Daytona Beach, Volusia County. Claire Matz, West 2 News.